time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Well, I was asked to react to. What is it called? The Fashion Devi. Oh, well, number one, I, you know, sometimes trying to find videos with the subtitles, English subtitles at least is hard. But then when I was searching, I found this uh, animated cartoon about it and I was like, I love the animation. Y'all know I love the animation stuff. So, of course, I was like, well, this is the one I got to react to. It's in, it's got the English subtitles and in animation. That's how I love to learn my stories. I'm a child at heart. What can I say? Let's just get it started. Y'all ready to do this? How do you say it? Va Vashno Devi? Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That is cute. This is why I love my animated stories. It makes everything cute. Vashno Devi. Adi Shakti Jagdamba, the glory of goddess Vashno Devi, is incomparable. If mythology is to be believed, then the superpower Vaishnu Devi was so pleased with the worship of her devotee Pandit Sridhar that she came down to help him. And in this way, Goddess Vaishnu Devi made the whole world aware of her glory. And since then, she till today, people seek the blessings of the mother by worshipping Adi Shakti in the holy shrine of Vaishnu Devi in Jammu and Kashmir. According to Hindu belief, Vaishnu Devi temple is one of the holiest okay. Hindu temples okay. dedicated to Shakti. As per the devotees say, Pandit Sridhar, the supreme devotee of Mother Vaishnavi, lived at some distance from Katara in Jammu and Kashmir. He wasn't very happy because of being childless. Aww, One day, he Aww. invited unmarried girls for Navratri worship. Today, we have organized Navratri Puja. I wish, I wish to worship you, for which I am humbly inviting you. I accept your invitation. Aww. Mother Vaishno disguised as a girl and went and sat among them. After the worship, all the girls left, but Mother Vaishnu Devi stayed there and said to Sridhar, You may invite everyone for a religious feast. Sridhar agreed to that divine girl I like the things and sent the head. message of a religious feast in surrounding villages as well. They but he was worried that he himself eats by begging for the food. Oh, see, so I was worried how about he that manage too. to arrange the food for so many people? I was worried about that He too. was returning to his home while thinking this. Just when he met Gauraknath and Saint Bhairavnath. Sridhar reached out to invite them. Are they I humbly invite you to a religious feast in my house. If you visit us, we will be blessed. You are rich, down and out, poor beggar will get a religious feast done. Huh. Himself who eats the leftover, he will feed us a meal. <laughs> That's not the very food nice. That is not even in all three worlds. I eat that much. You have come to invite us. The fees fall short wherever I go. That's not very nice of him. <laughs> oh, who is that? I don't like Teacher it. student duo started laughing at Sri. They ridiculed and he kept listening to all this silently and was very sorry. Still, Sridhar said very politely. He's a nice guy. Still, you have to come and increase the glory of the holy feast. I will not let you return hungry. After getting the invitation for food, all the villagers were surprised. That's gonna make me that upset. which girl is she who wants to feed food to so many people? 
After this, many villagers came to Sridhar's house and gathered for food. Is get nervous. Then, Mother Vaishnu Devi, in the form of a girl, started serving food to everyone from a unique vessel. While serving food, the girl went to Bhairavnath. That was Lord, that wasn't you famous. are serving everyone the food of their choice. I also need food of my choice to eat. I will eat meat instead of khir puri and drink alcohol. This is a, this is a Brahman's holy feast. And anyway, non-vegetarian food is never served in a religious feast. Eradicating hunger by killing an innocent creature is a sin. But Bhairavnath did not agree and deliberately stayed stuck to his point. Bhairavnath became suspicious of the girl. And when he wanted to capture the girl, to the her? goddess knew of his treachery and flew towards Trikuta mountain with the speed of light. It is said that Hanuman, the son of Pavan, was also there to protect mother on the mountain. And amid this, Hanuman, Hanuman felt very thirsty. He started searching for water, but he could not find water anywhere. What are you looking for, Pavan Putra? I am very thirsty, mother. On hearing this, the goddess took out a bow and shot an arrow on the mountain. And a stream of water came flowing from the mountain, by which Hanuman quenched his thirst. Hail down to the goddess. And today, this sacred water stream oh. is known as Ban Ganga. It is believed that by drinking it or bathing in the holy water, all the tiredness and suffering of the devotees come to an end. During this period, the goddess entered a cave and meditated for nine months. After she On the other the hand, guy? Pairavnath was ravaged by the disappearance of Mother Vaishnav Devi. Oh and then he indulged in the austerities and started looking for her with his elusive powers. Just when he came to know about the goddess hiding in the cave. Oh no! And then Pairavnath reached the cave with the speed of wind, where he encountered a monk. Oh, he better look. Oh, you he are better just a mighty girl. She is none other than Supreme Goddess Jagdamba. You so give up Don't the pursuit of defeating that superpower. Pairavnath did not listen to the monk. And being stubborn, he rampantly started walking towards the cave. Better start the looking monk at it. tried his best to stop him, but he used his force he to him. get inside the cave. But then Hanuman oh, appeared. Oh yeah, you do your thing, Hanuman. Mother. He fought with Bhairavnath, but Bhairavnath still did not give up, and took a huge form with his <gasps> elusive powers. Hanuman, you can get big too. Hanuman, after seeing the formidable appearance of Bhairavnath, he too became... I knew he could, see? Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram. And once again, a fierce war between the two got amplified. Oh my goodness. Hanuman hit the mace hard on Bhairavnath. Your end has come, Bhairavnath. Now look out. Look out for who saves you from the attack. Of you tell him, Hanuman! Tell him! You have no idea of my powers, you brute! People never win. <laughs> Bad but things Hanuman never win. was no less, and he fought Hanuman vigorously with his dagger. In the meantime, when mighty Hanuman started to fall Oh no, me, oh no. What happened? What happened? Then Mother Vaishnavi came out of the cave. Oh. Wait, Pavan Putra. He is not to be slaughtered by you, but by my hands. Hanuman goes away after bowing the. Oh, she's like, let me take him. Pairavnath starts laughing loudly. Mother Vaishnu warns Pairavnath Look at all and the asks him to return. In the goddess. But he did not agree. In the tiger. You think you're going to beat her? Listen to me. She's I'm still warning you to her. go away from here. Bhairavnath did not agree and started laughing loudly. He's gone dead. Furious mother Vaishnu attacked Bhairavnath with her trident. 
seeing the trident coming towards what him, happened? Pair of Nuts starts running from Are there. You, you can't get away. The trident chases him <gasps> and beheads his head. Oh! Oh! Oh, it behead him. Oh. <laughs> Where is it going? The head of Pair of Nuts falls far into Pair of Valley of the Trikuta Mountain. And in this way, Mother Vaishnavi destroys Bhairavnath. <gasps> it is said that after his slaughter, Bhairavnath realized his mistake well, yeah. and begged for forgiveness from the Mother Goddess. Oh, I'm mother, mother, his head just mother, didn't... please come in front of me. Bhairav. Oh, Mother Adi Shakti Jagdamba, forgive me, Mother. I am blessed to see you. I have no grudge of time, time, but I wanted to die with your hands. Now I will suddenly attain salvation. Oh, Mother Vaishno Devi, I was unfamiliar with the avatar of yours. If you will not forgive me, Mother, then this world will call me a sinner. Are you sure I thought of that beforehand? Please remember me as miscreant. Please forgive me, Mother. What do you want, Bhairavnath? Oh, Mother, Mother of the world, please do some measures so that people do not remember me as a sinner in future. Well, you should have acted better. Bhairavnath, you have called me Mother in your end time. Worship me and atone for your sins. Go, I forgive you and grant you a boon that opinion. from today onwards you will also be worshipped. My devotees will visit you and worship you. After this they have so visited nice. me and get their this wishes fulfilled. Nice. Without your visit, my worship will be considered incomplete. Too Walking nice. on your torso, devotees will enter my cave oh, and, and then torso. their journey will be successful. According to the same belief, even today, the devotees go to see Bhairavnath after climbing about three and a quarter kilometers after seeing Goddess Vaishno Devi. Jai Matadi! Say with love, Jai Matadi. Say out loud, Jai, Jai Matadi. Jai Matadi. Oh, Jai Matadi. I said Jai Matadi. That's a, you know, with the goddesses and God, they are all so loving and forgiving. I, you know, I'm not any kind of avatar because <laughs> I was like, forget him. I was like, hey, it's too late for him to apologize. You done did your bad deeds, but no, a forgiving heart. That's what y'all <laughs> could be rest assured there ain't no avatar right here because I'm like, let him pay for his sins. He done this bad thing. He brought that on himself. If only I can be so forgiving. I think that's something I should try to be better at. Something I should pray for to have more of a forgiving heart. Maybe that's what this is showing me right here. Maybe this was a, a, a important lesson that was bestowed on me today to have more forgiving heart. Because I should. And sometimes I do hold a grudge. If there's anything I've learned today from Vashnu Devi. How do I say it? Ja Mata Dav. What did I, I already forget how to say it? What did he say? He was like, say Jata. Let me say her. Jay Mata D. Jay Mata D. Jay Mata D. I gotta remember that one. When I remember, it's gonna remind me of to be more forgiving to people. She even granted him a boon and had people worship him when they worship her. Talk about a forgiving heart. <laughs> That's something. Could you, could y'all do that? He tried to, to slaughter her, kill her. He tried to kill Hanuman. Tried to capture her as a little girl. That's why we need these gods and goddesses, right? To look over us, to teach us the right ways. All right, y'all, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, mwah!